Good day, I just want to present to you a model scale radio tower that I built bit by bit over the last three months. This tower is a model scale of roughly something that would be somewhere in the uh, 170 to 180 foot high range. The overall model height of this tower is just a little over 24 inches or 2 feet. The tower is made out of very, very basic materials you would find anywhere in any electronics store or hardware store. Basically, my platform is made out of plywood. I've used um, carpeting on here that would simulate uh, the growth of grass. And of course in here I put a polymer based type of sand with some uh, glue to simulate a uh, gravel surface. The lights on the tower, these here are the equivalent of the Huey and Phillips L810 dual lamp fixtures, one on each side here, like this. The light on the top is meant to simulate a Huey and Phillips KG114 flash. As you can tell from the layout of the tower itself, it is of the microwave repeater cell phone type tower with uh, CB type antennas on the top. This is sim designed to simulate what a four element Sinclair antenna would look like. And then there's another Sinclair antenna, two element, right over here. And of course these would be the, uh, the cell phone antennas. And of course on the top of the tower are two parabolic uh, terrestrial microwave communication uh, antenna or dishes as they're sometimes known. And of course with the familiar red flash symbol on it that means that if anyone sees a microwave dish with this particular symbol on it, it's made by a company called Andrew, which is part of the Comscope uh, group of companies. The tower has its uh, alternating um, colors, which are designed purposely for that, so that way during the daytime, this tower would be visible to aircraft. And of course, at night, the lights would be uh, shining in, uh, in, in an effort, of course, to warn aircraft that this, tower's, uh, uh, that this tower is there and, of course, not to crash into it. Because these Andrew Comscope dishes can weigh upwards of 800 pounds each, and given the tower's overall height and the other equipment that would be on a tower in a very realistic world, it is important that for this particular design, that on the very top of the tower, there's a torsion strut system that allows for the number of guy wires to be doubled for extra support on each leg of the tower. And of course, the tower has a triangular cross lattice type cross section design. And of course, all of the cabling, the black wires you see here are designed to simulate the coaxial type cables that go into the cell phone antennas, the uh, Sinclair shortwave radio CB type antennas, and of course the waveguide cables for the microwave dishes. Contrary to popular belief, despite the size of these microwave dishes, they operate on very low power. And because microwave communications are so effective, these dishes can send out a very narrow beam using just a few watts of power to transmit uh, oodles of data. In this particular example, here there would be like telecom signals as well as um, 
as well as for internet, among other things. The lights on this tower, they're not lit up, I'll turn those on in just a second, are fully functional. The red flasher on the top is controlled by a relay circuit board, which is underneath and concealed underneath the platform. And of course, all the little fine details have been added in here, such as, of course, a grounding wire, as well as signage. And of course, signage over here. Now, one of the trickiest things about when I built this tower was actually constructing and building what is to be the uh, tapered base. And as you can tell with the tapered base, uh, to design this, this was very, very tricky to say the least. So, with that in mind, down here is where the machine gets powered up. There's a switch and it's fed by 12 volt DC current through a power supply that you would just uh, plug into your 120 volt uh, AC current. When you turn this on, like so, now you see the lights come on. The clicking noise you hear, of course, that's the sound of the relay clicking the lights off and on. And as you can see it like so. Now let's see what this is like with the uh, lights out. And that concludes my video presentation of the model scale radio tower that I built over the course of the last three months.